Thanks for joining me for What's That All About? <laughs> um, thanks for coming back after my kind of um, I'm weird or you little... I don't call it an episode because it wasn't. I was just talking to you. That's all. But I hope you liked it because I think I might do more of them. I think that those kinds of things are fun. And um, hey, I'd like to interview people too. If you thought some of those questions would be fun to answer and other people would like to hear some stories you got or something. I mean, what the hell, why not, right? It's your time too. So anyway, this urban legend crushes the other ones I've done, okay? I know I did like 10 or something um, a little while ago. Psst, nothing compares to what this one is. I think this one buries them all, quite literally. Now, Stell, Kansas. Okay, an otherwise innocuous cemetery that, according to urban legend, is the site of one of the seven <laughs> portals to hell in the United States. I don't know why I'm smiling about that, but <laughs> I was just fascinated to find out. And, you know, the word portal, I just get giddy. Um, it's even rumored that in the 1990s, when the Pope was heading to Colorado, he actually had his private plane rerouted around um, this place, Stull, Kansas, just to stay away from the unholy ground it sits on. So, the cemetery there has gained an ominous reputation, oh my god, to put it mildly, due to urban legends involving Satan, the occult, stupid occult, and a purported staircase that literally goes to the gates of hell. Are you kidding me? No, they're not. <laughs> now, this really, these stories and these rumors, the legend, whatever, really got ignited in 1974, November to be precise, of 1974. And the University of Kansas has a daily paper that is called the University Daily Kansan. And it claimed that the devil appeared in stall twice a year, once on Halloween, course <laughs> every terrifying legend <laughs> starts somewhere around there and once in the spring equinox jesus you think you're just gonna see some flowers springing around yeah not so much people soon said that the cemetery was the location um like i said to one of the gate to one of the gates that are gates of hell around the united states first of all i have no idea where the other six are but color me curious <laughs> it was also said that nearby um evangelical emmanuel church the ruins there were possessed by the devil mm -hmm. folks swear there's an old tree also in the graveyard once serving as a gallow for um condemned witches who then now return every year to be satan's army now see I don't believe that. I know that the Salem witch, witch trials, which I talked about already, didn't have any hangings. Um, but I don't know. I, this may, that may be just be a little bit of a far stretch. That's funny that I think that's the far stretch, not that the Satan's army thing's a far stretch. No, of course not. Uh, they also say that the voices, they hear voices of the devil that will strangle you. Are you ready for this? Strangle you while evil spirits carve out your insides. Jesus, goodness gracious, cheese and crackers. It sounds a little bit like TMI. I'm just reporting the research, <laughs> but still. <laughs> and some say in the basement of the abandoned church, install, there is a staircase, like I told you that, if you follow it all the way down, Oh boy, there you are at the entrance of hell itself. And if you crawl your way back up somehow, they say it could take you weeks to get up those ladder type stairs. And that's if the devil doesn't grab you first. Son of a bitch. Some also say on the night before Halloween, a woman in white appears on the side of the highway and lures drivers to their deaths never to be seen again. Now, in the years following the release of that article, I mentioned, you know, the legend, it's kind of, it, it persuaded thrill seekers, as you can imagine, because any place that has, um, you know, the potential to have hauntings or um, uh, any kind of paranormal, like gateway to hell, that would, I think that that 
kind of classifies as um, paranormal. They would uh, also claim though that they heard creepy voices, strange smells, weird patches of blood in the cemetery. Now granted, that could be animals, but still. To see patches of blood in a cemetery, uh, it's just, I would think, very off-putting, to say the freaking least. Um, also, people actually talk about time lapses, like they talk about losing their memory while they're there, doing investigations and stuff, which that's just, that sounds a little bit like a portal. That's what happens to people when they're pulled into portals. but. You know, uh, you know, it quickly became a very popular spot for high school and college kids, obviously. And obviously the two biggest dates being the spring equinox and Halloween. And now, and the, you know, sheriff's, the local county sheriff has to patrol there because vandalism was starting to get pretty bad um, during those times of year. And um, you can get a thousand dollar fine or up to six months in prison. Well. I don't want to say prison. It's probably just jail, like county jail or something. But who wants to spend six? I have advice. Don't do it. Either that or don't get caught. Did I say that? No. <laughs> don't get caught. Uh, the old church that remains a ruin has a strange part to play in this particular urban legend, actually. Now, back when it stood, it was said that if you counted more than seven windows, you were in danger. But looking at the pictures, you'd see there's three they're showing and I think a door that had a window. So you've got three on each side and the door in front. I'm counting seven or, you know, I, I, I don't know. That can't be a good thing. But anyway, it also appeared freshly built at the time during this period. But no matter what kind of vandalism, like if you threw a bottle, if you threw anything at this, nothing broke. Nothing. The bottle would not break, no matter how hard you get the strongest guy in town, anywhere, and it wouldn't break. So that's bizarre and onto its own self, I think. But I found a video. Now, bear with me, okay? I have just learned how to do background music in my video, so I'm still having my handicap with my tech development so please I wanted to put the clip in so bad but I couldn't figure out how to do it I'm going to learn I just it takes me baby steps but I'm gonna tell you about what happened this um, it's it, this guy who does a channel called planet weird how awesome is that my god if I had enough time before I started this channel maybe I would have thought of that but it's taken <laughs> but it's right up my alley uh, first of all they he's driving there and as he, this was like six years ago okay and he said that as they're driving to the cemetery grounds he like thought he saw smoke and as he got closer the whole entire grounds were on fire there's a picture i'm I, I i'm either showing it to you or i already did or whatever but he couldn't believe it they weren't controlled fires they were not anything that they were like you know sometimes they set fires for purposes this these were just they just ignited they the weather was fine I mean you can see it in the video I'm gonna put the link to the video in my description so that you can check it out it's a minute and 44 seconds it's so worth it to watch it um, so creepy I mean think about the the uh, in the atmosphere as you're walking into a cemetery and you see the ground and, and it's called the gateway to hell right so you're, it's all related to that, and you're walking on ground that's literally on fire. Um, that's a little on the nose, don't you think? Anyway, but I see what I mean though about this one being so out there, but it's freaking terrifying. Um, I thought you might enjoy it though. I, I did. <laughs> I want to get like a map of the United States and like start putting pins in them all, and I want to road trap the, I mean road trip the crap out of some, like have a big Palooza road trip. Um, and get to some of these places. New Mexico is definitely on my high, high end of lists um, just for probably the crash stuff at Roswell. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode and that you are staying happy and healthy and stay weird. I'm watching. Stay weird and uh, take care. Bye.